Love the snow, especially the first snow of the winter. This year it fell right before Christmas, which made it extra special. I decided it would be a good idea if I practiced my aim for the snowball fights that were sure to happen in the months to come. Usually I had father <laughs> help me with this, but he was off fighting in the war. Lots of things would be different this year. New traditions, new feelings, yeah. and new friends for all of us. Of course, some things would never change. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Hi. How's it going? Hmm? Working hard, I see. Mm hmm. And then the evil wizard enters and makes Zara his prisoner, swearing to do harm to her unless Rodrigo will sacrifice himself in order to save her? Joe, I thought you were writing a Christmas play for us to do. This is more of an adventure story. Mm hmm. Did you hear me? Yes! Oh, well, I'm sorry I'm interrupting you. I just wanted to talk to you, that's all. But I guess you're busy, so I'll leave you alone. I'm sorry, Meg. I didn't mean to snap at you. Do you realize this is the first time our family isn't together for Christmas? Yeah, that's right. Hey, cheer up. We still have the five of us in Hannah to spend Christmas with. Now, where was I? <laughs> you're right. I was just a little bit worried about Christmas morning and your play. What do you mean you're worried? I'm doing the best I can. I'm working very hard on this play. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. Oh, that's all right. Tell me about the play. It's a romantic story of love and tragedy. At the end, the villain realizes his evil ways and does himself in. Dramatic. And what becomes of the hero? I don't know. See, I haven't written that yet. Look, it's still snowing outside. It's so peaceful when it snows. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go finish my script. Almost through? Mm-hmm. But if I don't get back to work, I'll never finish in time. I wonder what happened to Mr. Lawrence. You mean Laurie? Mm-hmm. I haven't seen him anywhere for several days now. Uh-huh, that's nice. He was so nice to rescue us at the ball. I hope nothing has happened to him. I'd feel awful if it has. Do you think he's all right, Joe? Can we talk about this later? All right. We'll talk when you're through. Let's see. My love, I have come for you. Rodrigo, stop! Come not! Save yourself! Hmm. What's wrong? Yo! Oh! oh. Wow. <laughs> Amy, what's the matter? The cat got her finger. Hey! Doesn't anyone care that I finally finished the play? Really? Can I read it, Joe? So is it wonderful? Mm-hmm. Of course it's wonderful. Joe's a wonderful writer. Let me read it, please, Joe. Not now, Amy. I want Marmy and Meg to read it first. You can read it when everybody else is finished with it. Well, I'm sorry, Joe. I can't read your play now. I have to finish this. All right, you can read it after you're finished. No, then I must go out. There's an urgent matter that I must take care of. Why would you want to go out in this weather? To take care of Mrs. Hummel. Why? Anything wrong? She's having her baby. Her husband has gone off to war. She has five young children and no one to take care of them. I must go over there this afternoon. Oh, I see. Why don't you let each of us read it until Marmy gets back? Okay, Meg, you first. Amy wanted to go first. Oh, Joe, please let me read it, please. All right. Oh, boy! We'll decide who's gonna play which part after we've all read it. Agreed? Yes. Good. All right. Amy, you pass this on to Beth when you're through. I'm going to shovel a path to the street for Marmy. Oh, oh, phew. Huh? That 
must be Lori's grandfather. I wonder why they're not taking Lori with them. Hmm. Enough. Ugh. Oh, I guess I have to put a little more punch in it. Ugh. Whoops. Uh-oh. Joe? Hi, Lori. Hi. Uh, I was wondering how you were. I'm just fine. I did have a cold and I had to stay home, but I'm feeling better now. Meg and I were worried because we hadn't seen you since the ball. I got sick right after that. <gasps> you let us ride in the carriage the night of the ball. It's our fault. If it hadn't been for us, you'd probably wouldn't be sick right now. I'm okay. Really, don't blame yourself. I'm sure I was already coming down with it. Is there something we can do to help? Meg was worried too. Meg, I almost forgot. How's your ankle doing? It was just a little sprain. She's doing just fine now. Well, that's a relief. So, what have you been doing to pass the time? Hmm? Well, other than reading, I haven't been doing much of anything. It sounds like you need somebody to talk to. Yes, I don't have many friends around this place. It can be really boring at times. There's no one to talk to but grandfather and the servants. Well, I'm your friend now, Lori, and I'd be happy to help keep you from being bored. I don't know if that's possible anymore. Catch! <laughs> That made you forget your boredom. Yeah, you've brightened my whole... Ow! <gasps> Ooh, being bored was safer. <laughs> well, I've bothered you enough. Why don't you come in for a while? I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. Come on, do, Joe. I will, but I have to ask my mother for her permission first. Of course, I understand. But you'd better ask her fast because it looks like she's about to leave for a while. <gasps> Marmy, wait! This place might not be so bad after all. Hooray! Hi! Hi, Joe. I'm really glad to see you. Thank you for coming. I didn't expect you to arrive here so quickly. Look, I brought along a friend. I want you to meet Milky Ann. It's nice to meet you, Milky Ann. I'll be your friend if you'll be mine, all right? Hi! Uh -huh. I think she likes you. Uh... My sister Beth thought Milky Ann would be able to brighten your day and boost your spirits. Beth insisted I bring her over. Beth, is she the one I hardly ever see? Yes, she's very shy. Mm. <gasps> what? I forgot I was supposed to practice my play this afternoon. Oh, well, it can wait. Oh, by the way, my mother wanted me to welcome you as a neighbor and ask you if you like it here. Mm-hmm. Very much, especially after meeting all of you. Thank you. Meg made this for you. It's custard with fruit. Wow. She wants you to know how much she appreciates what you did for her at the ball. Oh, my. It's too beautiful to eat. And my youngest sister Amy picked out the flowers for you. I'm overwhelmed. We all just wanted to show you how much we appreciate what you did and to welcome you as a neighbor and a friend. I couldn't feel more welcome. There aren't words for what I feel. Lori? I'm sorry. What's wrong? Nothing, not now. I'm not sure I understand, Lori. I've never been made to feel at home like you've just made me feel. I've always wanted friends like you, and now... Now I'm getting the cat all wet. <laughs> sorry about that, Milky Ann. I'm forgiven. Why don't we go up to my room? It's really messy, but at least we'll be able to sit down and talk. This is really a lovely house, Lori. Thanks, Joe, but I don't Ooh. think you'll say that once you see my room. <laughs> well, here we are. What do you think? Wow! This could be a beautiful room with a little tidying up. <laughs> I told you it was a mess. Well, you've been sick. No, I'm afraid this is how it always looks. I've just never been very conscientious about putting my things away. Hey, why don't the two of us whip this room into shape? 
Are you sure you want to take on that big of a job for someone you hardly even know? Sure, now Milky Ann, stay away from those ashes. Why don't we start over here with this clock? This shouldn't take long. What do you want me to do first? Hmm. How about those books? Hmm? Hmm. What about them? You can't be reading all these books at the same time, so why don't you put them away on the shelf when you're through with them? Here, cat. Hey. Why don't you blow that up and make yourself useful? And when you're done with that, you can help me make this bed. <gasps> Joe's been over at the Lawrence's for an awful long time, don't you think? Not really. Look, someone's moving in that upstairs window. He's probably just showing Joe around the house, now they're upstairs. I should have gone in with her, Beth. It's not right that she's in there with him all alone. What do you mean, all alone? You're just mad because you weren't invited. Besides, the butler's probably with them. I am not mad because I wasn't invited, and how do you know the butler didn't go with Lori's grandfather, hmm? Ah! Huh? What's the matter? It doesn't matter if the butler's gone. They're not alone. Milk Ann's with him. There now. Isn't this much better? Mm-hmm. I told you it wouldn't take too long. Those flowers are really beautiful. Mmm. They brighten up the room. So do you, Joe. Huh? <clears throat> well, uh, um, I gather you like the custard. Oh, yes. It was terrific. I can't believe how different my room looks. It's wonderful. We, I mean you, did a great job. Thank you, I'm glad you like it. Now, how am I ever gonna repay you for everything you've done for me? You won't, because I just did what any friend would do for another friend. Besides, I'm repaying you, remember? I forgot, but I'd be a terrible host if I didn't at least try. What can I do? Oh well, I'll figure something out. I've got a great idea. Why don't we spend the afternoon talking and getting acquainted with each other? Great. I love to talk. In fact, my mother scolds me sometimes for talking too much. <laughs> huh? I can't imagine your mother scolding anybody. How come you're surprised? That's what she's supposed to do when we don't behave properly. Don't you think it's a parent's job to make sure the children know how to act? Mm-hmm. I won't argue that. It's just hard to picture your mother getting mad. I wish I had a mother like yours. Well, she's my mother and I'm gonna keep her. But that doesn't mean you can't come over and spend some time getting to know her and my sisters better. Why don't you do that? You're welcome any time. I think you'll get to be great friends once you get to know each other. Okay. I am curious to meet Beth and little Amy. I've only ever seen them from my windowsill. Speaking of Amy, I wonder if she's finished reading the script of my play yet. Give it back, No, Beth. Amy! Just said I could read it. Give it to me! You can't keep it all day. The rest of us need to read it. Uh, 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 Look! What? Hey! <laughs> you tricked me. Give me back that script. No. Give it back or I'm telling. Amy, you've had it all day and you still haven't read a word of it. It's time to let you someone else have it. You give me time. Come back here, Beth. Forget it, Amy. I'm gonna read it. That's what you think. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Are you all right? Oh, Beth? What was that noise I heard? Amy, what happened? Well, mm -hmm. Amy was chasing me around the room and she tripped. Huh? Why was she chasing you? Well, you see, it has to do with... Oh! Oh, I got it! Oh, no! <gasps> oh, Amy, look! She tore it, man. It was an accident. Joe's gonna be mad. It's not my fault. <laughs> she said I could read it first. Well, you'll just have to make sure it's fixed before she gets home. Here. I don't want to read it. Uh, I don't want anything Amy, to do with it. Amy, what's the matter with you? Come stop. back here. You have to fix the script. <laughs> huh. Meg, it really isn't her fault. Hmm, well then, whose is it? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Who's ever responsible better fix that script before Joe gets home or they'll hear about it for the rest of their life. Wow, you can see our whole yard from here. Yes, and your living room. What? Uh... Um, well, so much goes on in your house, I can't help myself. <laughs> well, you'll have to come by and make yourself part of the goings-on around my house. I'd love to. When may I come over? Well, on Christmas we perform my play. Really? Yes, I write the plays, and sing, and dance. Wow! You're terrific, Joe. 
<laughs> Thank you. Well, Lori, do you think your grandfather will let you come visit us on Christmas? I think so. I'll just ask him. I'll see if I can get Marmy to ask him, just to make sure. Great. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Your grandfather always looks mad. Are you sure he'll let you come? He's much nicer than he appears, and he pretty much lets me do whatever I want. He keeps that stern look on his face so people will respect him. He's really very nice. You'll see when you meet him. Hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. I promise he won't bite. Well, okay then. By the way, are you really positive I won't be in the way or imposing on your family's Christmas? Yes. You're one of the nicest boys I've ever met. You couldn't possibly impose on anyone. Especially not on a friend like me. Really? Mm-hmm. And I'm sure my family will feel the same way. Thanks. I know how much you love books, so I thought you want to see the library before Grandfather gets home. I know you're still a little afraid of him, okay? I wouldn't want you to feel uncomfortable. I'm okay. You promised me you wouldn't bite. Yes, I did promise that, didn't I? Oh, Lori, there's so many shelves and so many books. It's magnificent. It would take years to read all of these beautiful books. I've always dreamed of having a library like this. I could spend hours upon hours reading in here. Do you think that maybe I could, you know, do that sometime? Sure, Joe. Why don't we just stay now? At least in here we don't have to clean. <laughs> <laughs> That's the largest portrait I've ever seen. Your grandfather looks so hard and cold. <sighs> Don't forget what I told you about him. Oh no, he's coming, it's him! What am I supposed to do or say or... Mm. Oh dear. <sighs> Lori! Don't worry, I told you he's a very nice man. But what if he... You'll really like him, I know you will. That's right. If you say he's a nice man, then he must be. I'm just being silly about meeting him. He'll probably turn out to be the nicest man I've ever met, and I'll feel dumb for having worried so much. Mm-hmm. Now you're finally being sensible. Remember, he won't bite you. <laughs> yes, come in. Mm -hmm. Yes, what is it? Mm, the doctor's here. He's come to give you your examination. Tell him I'll be right there. Mm. Well, I'd better get this over with. Rotten timing, though. It won't take long. Would you mind waiting for me here? No, go ahead. I'll wait. I'm sure I'll find something interesting in here to occupy my time. Thanks. I'll be right back. Hmm. This place is like a dream come true. Everything is so beautiful. Shakespeare! Huh. Homer, Plato, hmm. I could live in this room, golly. How do you do? You just want people to think you're mean. Well, sir, you don't fool me for a minute. You have very gentle eyes. In fact, if you look close, you're handsome. Thank you. That's the most unique compliment <gasps> huh? I've ever received. I... Uh, uh, I'm I... flattered that you think I'm handsome, young lady. Um, I hope you're not mad at me. Nonsense. I hope I didn't frighten you. Yes, sir. I mean, no. Uh... Are you sure? Some people are actually afraid of me. Can you imagine that? Hey, Lori was right. You really are nice. Whew, what a relief. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> Was it something I said? I... Well, now, young lady, how do I come to find you in my house? Not that I mind, of course. I'm just the curious type. I came to visit Lori because I heard he was sick. That's very kind of you. And is Lori feeling any better because of your visit? Yes, sir. Lori was feeling a bit lonely. But I managed to cheer him up, and he's fine now. I think all Lori needed was a friend. You know, someone he could talk to, someone like me. <laughs> well, you're a good friend. Well, it's just about tea time. Would you care to join oh. me? Of course I would. Young lady, you've made my day. 
<clears throat> Take my arm. I won't bite you. <sighs> Thanks. I'd be honored. How are you feeling, Theodore? I'm a bit confused, Grandfather. When did you get home? Just a few minutes ago. <laughs> and in time to meet this young lady. Well, Joe, if you're ready, we'll just make our way to the parlor. Follow us, Theodore. <laughs> I'm enjoying your company thoroughly. Tell me, is your Aunt March well? Mm-hmm. Quite well, thanks. How about my grandfather? Did you know him? I'd love to hear about him. Yes, I knew him. He was a fine, fine man. Theodore, I hope you know what a fine friend you've made. Yes, sir, you bet. In fact, Joe has invited me to spend Christmas Day with her. It's very gracious of her to invite you. I think it's a good idea, personally. You mean it's all right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry you got carried away. <laughs> Joe, you're a breath of fresh air in my home. It's so beautiful in here. I know. It's my favorite part of the house during the winter. Mmm. This is for you to take home. Oh, they're lovely. Give these to your mother. Oh, they're gorgeous, Lori. They're the best flowers in the greenhouse. Marmy will love them. I'm glad. Thank her for me and tell her that the medicine she sent for me was very effective. Don't forget. What medicine? When Joe finally came home, she was so excited about the new friendship she had with Lori and his grandfather, she even forgave us for tearing her script. We made her sit down and tell us all about her day. We even tried our hand at figuring out Lori's mysterious message about the medicine that Marmy sent. Even Joe couldn't figure it out. But when Marmy came home, we told her, and she understood right away. You see, the medicine Marmy sent with Joe was Joe herself. Change the voice.